Hello all, welcome back. Hope you are doing well. Today we are going to understand the most important concept in JavaScript. Of course, I used to say that every concept is important. Yes, that is true. So today we are going to learn another important topic. That is, so usually whenever you are working with a React.js, okay, without learning properly, when you are working in a react js many students have a confusion that what this this event dot target dot value when you are dealing with the refs at the time we used to know this like event dot target dot value okay so many many beginner students have a confusion that um, there is sometimes we used to write uh, a event object <clears throat> like uh, here event dot uh, target dot uh, value okay so but from where it is coming what is the importance of this event sometimes people will use like uh, mention like e simply e and few people will do like event so what is the importance of that okay that we are going to learn today this is really really important thing for web developers who are working in a front end okay of course anywhere <laughs> yeah so yesterday we understand how to attach an uh, event handler to a any HTML element with the help of event listener. Okay, this is the event listener, and your we are passing a callback function. Okay, this is the event handler because we are attaching this event handler to a HTML element that is called button one. Okay, so let's see what 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 is the value here suppose here if you see simply even without this also it will work so i'm just putting okay good morning okay good morning and just refresh and if you click on a button and it will print a good morning good morning, good morning. Okay, this is simple because we are just attaching an event that is a click event and we have provided the callback function so whenever you click on a button so it will execute this event handler that is fine understand so here if you see here we can pass suppose not only you can use e or whatever your name so you can give a triple x or triple y or a b c d whatever it is but normally we are representing the event object that's why either we need to go with the e or you can go with the event that is the good way of writing a programming okay so he event so here you will get a confusion right that's why i used to prefer to give a like just name as e it's very very simple then let's see because it is provide it is javascript is providing this information okay javascript will provide uh, some information in this object called e that is the object okay we are getting from a javascript so let's see what is there in that so uh, here instead of doing console.log good morning i'm just putting e let's see what is there in that object that is a big object actually okay so please do practice then only we can learn otherwise it's very difficult hopefully you are doing practice so just click on submit so if you see we got one object the object it is just it's just refer, referring that pointer event okay maybe most of us already know that pointers in uh, c language kind of thing okay don't try to mix up those knowledge don't worry right now we are not focusing uh, the constructor name or something but here what is the importance of this so if you see it is providing lots of lots of information about this uh, box that is the button because we are at we are attaching a event to this button right click so it will provide all the information about this button normally we say that so we have given simple text uh, what the hell is this because JavaScript is providing all the information okay so here okay we can see a lot of uh, things important things but here the most important thing is uh, event dot target okay this is the event e and somewhere you will get a object called target so just go with the alphabetical order we should find that okay here it is there target what is the target button one so if you attach the event to any text box it will show that 
uh, it, the target is a that uh, particular text box or a HTML element and what is a pointer type it's a mouse event okay and even if you see uh, somewhere uh, what is a type of event that is a click event so you can find all the information here and this is the most useful one that is a target okay in that target also again it is providing lots of properties lots of properties in this in this so here one more thing is children is there okay we we used to uh, learn that in a uh, when we come to react we should focus on that and if you see uh, the ID of that particular HTML element and what is the inner HTML and inner text okay this is assignment for you what is the difference between the inner HTML and inner text okay let's find out in the Google that's an interesting thing and a uh, lot of things are there okay node name button node type okay I'm not going to uh, waste the time so directly I'm going to point that event dot target dot value that is the most important thing for us so if you see so still I need to expand this uh, so somewhere we will get uh, value oh my god so we are searching for this but it is empty but what is the use if it is empty but for button always it will be empty so now if you want to understand that even the target that value so we need to go with uh, another example okay let's see that is very interesting very interesting so we should go with the input type so let's put one text box okay the type is a txt okay type is txt and i'm giving some id that is called txt1 okay fine so just see whether it is displaying properly or not in the browser yeah we have a text box beautiful text box even if you want to add some colors you can add it so now we need to attach one event uh, to this input type so simple I'm just copying the same thing so we know right I hope you have done practice for yesterday's session so here we are attaching one event to a text box and here we, I want to give a blur event so blur event means once you enter some text and once you move away from the text it will fire that event okay this is the most important thing whenever you are designing login form or the registration forms in your applications so very soon we are going to all the projects please do practice all these things blur even so let's see what is what is is the value of e it at this particular situation so now so now just go on refresh so i'm not doing any i'm not clicking on button so now i'm just here writing so practice 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 okay it's very important for a um, the programmer so just click on blur event so i just came out so blur event has fired and just go here event dot target where is our target here target if you see that is just referring the text box and definitely you will find a value now i hope you know what is the value of that event dot target dot value now what it is what it is what it is what it is where is the value where is the value value practice 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 naturally most of us not interested to practice but that is very important so practice 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 so that means you can dynamically with the help of event you can find all the information about that HTML element so right now we are just learning the fundamentals so that maybe you don't realize the importance of this but whenever we are doing projects with the react or angular whatever the framework we are going to use this is going to be very very useful so if you see simply if you want to see the um, uh, text box value so you can you can write that simply the e dot target dot value okay, e dot target dot value simply super just refresh so here write we love javascript because javascript is difficult but it's beautiful so if you learn properly we will love javascript
what working this is the value of e dot target dot value so understand this this is very important please do practice and um, in the next session we are going to understand how these event handlers are working in the event loop sorry javascript runtime environment in the browser that is the most important thing so we in the previous sessions we understand how set timeout timers will work in the browser it will attach a timer in the uh, web api and after expiring that timeout it will move that into the call stack right sorry uh, task queue and then it will event loop will move that into the call stack so how event listeners are going to work inside the browser that we are going to cover in the next video so stay tuned please do practice and get ready for the next video bye bye bye